Welcome back, teachers and staff. My name is Heather. I'm a Fargo Cast public health nurse, and I am the Centennial School Nurse. This year, just like everything else, we're going to do something a little different with EpiPen training. We're going to ask you to view this video, and attached to it will be a EpiPen test that we'll have you take. Please take the test to the nurse's office at your school after it's complete, and be sure to sign the nurse training log form indicating that you've had this training. Um, located in the nurse's office will also be an EpiPen trainer to familiarize yourself with what an EpiPen looks like and how um, to, to operate. Operate it. Um, and also, there'll be some resources available either on um, this email or in the nurse's office for you. So, with that, we're going to continue um, with our training. What is an EpiPen? The ingredient in the EpiPen is called epinephrine. This is the treatment of choice for allergic emergencies or anaphylactic reactions. EpiPen um, or epinephrine quickly constricts blood vessels, relaxes smooth muscles in the lungs to improve breathing, stimulates the heartbeat, and works to reverse hives and swelling around the lips and face. The EpiPen is commonly prescribed for people who have had severe allergic reactions to certain foods, such as nuts, eggs, or food additives. It can also be for drug reactions, um, such as to penicillin, um, to stings like bees, wasps, and hornet stings, and oddly enough, even to exercise. When do I give it? Allergic reactions can occur in seconds or minutes after exposure to the substance, so this may not necessarily occur in the lunchroom, but it could be in the hallway or even back in the classroom sometime later. The person with an allergic reaction may complain of dizziness, faintness, hives, flushing of the face, itching, swelling of the face, tongue, or lips. Use the EpiPen when the person complains of tightness or pain in their chest, difficulty swallowing or breathing. Be aware that kids may describe these symptoms differently. If you're not sure whether to give it or not, um, but the individual does seem uncomfortable or in distress, give it. It's easier, um, it's safer to do than it is to wait. How do I give it? Um, so I'm going to demonstrate to you um, how to um, use the EpiPen. Um, it comes in a sheath like this. You remove it, um, the blue cap comes off, the safety cap, and you hold the EpiPen with the black um, or orange tip against the thigh and apply moderate pressure for three seconds. Pushing the EpiPen against the thigh releases a spring-activated plunger, pushing the con concealed needle into the thigh muscle and delivering the dose of epinephrine. The thing to remember here is it's not a stabbing motion, um, for lack of a better term. Um, it's m pressure and holding it for three seconds because when you release the EpiPen, the sheath covers the needle so that it protects you from the needle. Um, if you pull it away too soon, it will not deliver its dose. Um, do not give in the vein or buttocks. Um, EpiPens should only be given in the front area of the thigh, and then after that is complete, you want to massage the site for 10 seconds after the injection to prevent tissue damage. If necessary, EpiPen can um, be used directly through clothing. Now, if you accidentally inject it into your own hand or body part, you are going to end up having to go to the emergency room also, um, because epinephrine is a potent vasoconstrictor and could affect your circulation. So after you give the EpiPen, then what? Um, get medical help for the child immediately. This is when you're going to um, use your resources. You may send one person to dial 911. One person may stay with the student, and the other person may call their parents. Um, so again, stay with the person. Keep them warm and resting. The effects of the injection wear off after 10 to 20 minutes, and symptoms can recur. Um, the EMS response in Fargo is about 15 minutes, and so it could be likely that symptoms may be returning before EMS arrives. Um, the school usually has more than one EpiPen, and so it would be a good idea to have the other one close by. Of course, notify the parents of the reaction and the student's condition. Um, after the injection, the person may feel um, a more rapid heartbeat, nervousness, and headache. Uh, stay with them until emergency medical help arrives. We want you to send the EpiPen with them so that the physician will know the dosage. Um, if a child um, has an, an allergic reaction that we know about, um, we ask that family bring those EpiPens to school and it is designated just for that student. 
uh, we also have EpiPens that are available in the school for per people that we may not know um, have severe allergies. And in that situation, we would want you to fill out this North Dakota anaphylactic reaction plan sheet um, after the EpiPen is given. And it's just a way for us to um, kind of keep track of where these EpiPens are used. What else should I know? This information may be found on your test. Um, EpiPens cannot be reused. EpiPens come in two different strengths, uh, 0 0.3 milligrams for adults, which is 66 pounds or greater, and 0 0.15 milligrams for young children age 33, or I'm sorry, for um, 33 to 66 pounds. Um, both of those EpiPens will be found in the nurse's office in those the you know school supply. Uh, check the expiration on the package. Now the nurse does keep track of that, so it's not necessary for you to do that before you use it, but it will be on the test, so you may want to know that. Um, store at room temperature. Do not refrigerate. If the solution becomes brown, replace it. The solution is both light and temperature sensitive, so it actually um, comes in um, packaging that conceals the, the liquid except for a little um, window for you to, to peek at just to, to prevent it from... Um, having any trouble. Um, students are able to self-administer, but more than likely a, an adult will do so. Um, that is a test question. What else should you know? If a student is having a reaction, do not send the student to the office alone. They must be accompanied by an adult or better yet, call the office and have the EpiPen brought to them. Um, if you go on a field trip, we want to make sure that you take the EpiPen with you. Um, school nurses communicate health information from the health card to teachers through the red medical icon in PowerSchool, um, just behind the child's name. There's a picture of it there. Um, if you click on that uh, red medical icon, it, uh, it pops up what health issues this child has that we're wanting to communicate with you. So in this case, it would say that they have maybe a nut allergy, but we will communicate like asthma, seizure information, um, maybe ADHD information in there to you. So be sure to check that on your students each um, year before school starts. Um, now, emergency care plans will be filled out by the parents, and teachers will be given a copy of the emergency care plan, as well as music, gym, and playground staff. Um, so you will know whether a student in your class has an emergency care plan with this EpiPen. Uh, resources. For teachers who have students with these severe allergies, um, resources are available to send home to families. Um, there's a list of peanut-free snacks if you are um, asking people to bring food into your classroom. I don't know whether you will do that or not. Um, how to read a label. Um, things may indicate that this is nut-free or contains ingredients um, that may cause a reaction. Um, those are just kind of some examples. Um, and then letters to parents about food allergies um, in your classroom. It's a, it's a note from the nurse just saying um, to the parents, there's a child in your child's classroom that has severe allergies and please be careful when sending things um, and, and that kind of a form letter. So that's available to you too. Um, and then peanut or nut free signs for your classroom door, they can be found in the nurse's office. Okay, the test. Um, please complete the test that's attached to this email and return it to the nurse's office. The answer key will be in the office. Um, please sign the EpiPen training log sheet located in the nurse's office indicating you, com you completed the training. Um, EpiPen trainers will also be in the nurse's office if you'd like to familiarize yourself with the EpiPen. Um, thank you for your time, and if you have any further questions, please contact your school nurse. Have a great year. Thanks.